Hello, my beautiful population one people. How are you guys doing today as you're rolling in? I'm here for a very special interview today. As you guys uh, may have seen on the introduction, I am interviewing a sandbox builder. So before we get started, your guys' job is to share out the content and uh, say hello and lurk if you'd like. That's totally fine. But today we're going to interview a very special content creator of our own population, One Family. And you guys may know him More cowbell, from your most favorite match Welcome to my before. channel. And we are More here cowbell, to interview Weller 107. Said. Hello. Hey, yo. Hey, hey what's going on? How are you? So, um, we are here to kind of start off the uh, month of June in interviews with all of our sandbox builder, uh, builders. And Weller, you were my first one. So, thank you for uh. being my first victim. <laughs> first and foremost though where people need to recognize is uh i had this idea but i was really timid about it until weller reached out to me and said hey have you ever thought about doing builder interviews and i thought hmm i have it's been scary to think about it but let's do this together and you've been really a huge help in the idea of this being built um no pun intended, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you've helped me uh, build and construct what this might actually look like. And so we're going to have a go at it, let you share some of your knowledge and some of your beautiful maps. And uh, how does that sound? We'll just uh, start with the questions. Sounds good. Let's go. Perfect. Okay. So just wanted you guys to get this beautiful uh, hand built image here. Just real quick. Restream and we bot. are in builder mode. Welcome so to my careful. channel. I just want to show you guys this is X underscore devil's girl underscore X. Pieces here. You guys can Welcome kind of to my see channel. the lines and the pieces that Alicidra. constructed this beautiful image here. Welcome to That's my what channel. That's we're going to be talking about today. So, Kata. here we go, Welcome Weller. to my Are channel. Ready? <laughs> ready. Okay, let me get on the ground. Here we go. All right, easy <laughs> questions are first. You just share some of the information about your personal, uh, your credit score, your social security number, and mm. your okay. last name, yep. please. <laughs> okay, yeah, doesn't seem sketchy at all. Right, right, okay. <laughs> all right, uh, <laughs> would you mind uh, telling us where are you located? Uh, in the great state of North Carolina. Beautiful, okay. Um, so you're over there on the East Coast. I'm over here on the Zero West Coast. One Ella. Um, so thank you Welcome for making this to my time channel. slot work today. Slaughter um, underscore 16. Here. Would you mind telling us what you do Welcome for a living to my outside of playing this game? Yeah, I'm a solutions architect at Cisco Systems with a C. So uh, like the company that makes the internet work. I work for them. Perfect. And an architect. You're a builder in Pop One, and you're an architect. That's perfect. <laughs> oh. um, and so how long have you been playing Population One? Um, yeah, I was trying to come over that the other day. I think it's it's over two and a half, not quite three. It was it was early, but um, like I didn't buy any skins, you know, like at the very beginning. So I kind of missed out on some of those ones I would have had an opp opportunity on. Okay. Um, so be, I think... Uh, I think like, oh, yeah, I don't, it was like right after Christmas, maybe like January of 2020, maybe. Yeah, right or after the release. Maybe it was release. 2019. Okay. Yeah, right after release. Yeah, that's okay. what it would have been. Yeah. Perfect. So that would have been, uh, if it was around January, it would have been 2021. So um, 2020 is when the game came out. And that is awesome. So you've been around for quite some time. Uh, I always know what year it was because it was the same year that Pop One Baby joined us. <laughs> so uh, that's how I, nice. I size up dates for Pop One. <laughs> uh, and with your level of knowledge, what level are you currently in the game? 63. 63. Dang. So you get in some pretty uh, big playing time as well as these massive builds too. So that's impressive. Um, I'm guessing that you eat, sleep, and drink pop when you're not at work. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the builder definitely took up more more time and put a lot more interest kind of back into it. Oh, yeah, uh, And then sure. trying to do both is is kind of 
difficult. Yeah, I bet. <clears throat> um, and so here's a question for you. Uh, knowing that uh, building is a completely different type of Pop One playing, uh, let's talk a little bit about Pop One content. Do you have a favorite streamer to watch? Outside of you? Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, a little let's brown see here. on your nose there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I tune into streams every once in a while, but I've watched more shoutcasts. Okay. Um, when I was playing comps and I, and I really liked, uh, watching like attack by wolves. Cause I liked okay. the way he described what was going on and like, kind of like, uh, the pursuit and the angles that he would take and around the action, you know, everyone kind yeah. of does it differently and announces differently. I always wolves just, it just kind of like, it made sense to me the way he did it. And I know it's mm -hmm. kind of skirting the question, but in terms of like, no, you know, perfect. live content, uh, that's perfect. I don't you think anyone does shoutcast. I'm confused the entire time. It's comic book <laughs> relief. I mean, really, if you need some comic <laughs> relief, um, and I'm shoutcasting, just tune in to my confusion for an hour. <laughs> Welcome I'll do that next to time. my channel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for popping in as you guys are dropping in the stream. I see you there, so thank you so much. We're saying hello in chat, making sure you guys are sharing out the content. We're here with Weller, uh, one of our actually very famous Population One builders. Um, don't blush with that, but you are. So we're uh, <laughs> just getting going. Let's talk about building, though. Um, so yeah. how long have you been building, and were you a part of the early testing? So I wasn't a part of the alpha, but I was a part of the beta. And that's funny. I actually saw the date that... Uh, that Baker had asked me if I wanted to be a part of this, which was like July 23rd of like last year. Oh, wow. Um, so, you know, Arms reach kind of coming underscore. up on a year almost that mm -hmm. have been, Welcome you know, in the building, I've been in ever since. Arms reach underscore. Very cool. Um, Said, that's a long time. And actually, this Wella. is where I met you in the game was in building. So, um, yeah, in that's early right. testing. And I was like, I need to know who that is because he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, would you I, I don't know if you play other building games or if this is your first one would you be able to compare Sandbox to other building games I don't really have anything current to compare it to and I've never um, really built like this much in anything else I, mean, I messed around with like some uh, like Doom 2 files like WAD files back in the day yeah. and, and some Quake stuff but I've never got nearly into the details and became consumed with it. Um, so I can't speak to what it would be like to build in Fortnite or on a computer. You know, I've really kind of only done this in VR, uh, unless you count like, you know, SimCity when I was like a kid. I love <laughs> that game. PCs. I love that game. <laughs> now it's more like about avatars and stuff like that. But I, I swear that yeah. was the best building cities and having tornadoes take them out and rebuilding. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need more firefighters. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have memories. <laughs> awesome. Robert's um, 2JC. So, um, a Minecraft Welcome or to anything my channel. like that in your books? No, never, never played Minecraft. But, you know, looked at it from afar, yeah. right? But, you know, uh, never, never really got into it. Okay, cool. Well, your uh, skill level just now impresses me that much more. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about your builds. What is your inspiration for them? Um, you know, talk a little bit about, are you more towards the artsy side or playability? Or do you do a little bit of both? Um... So most of my maps are, uh, most of them are remakes or, or heavily, you know, lean towards like something that I saw previously. Like e even this, you know, map right here, it's from like yeah. 1995, um, which is kind of cool that like, you know, so many people can play it now in virtual reality and, and like the, just the design of the level hold, right? holds up and translates uh, to, to movement and pop one. There's been other maps I've wanted to do that just don't really make sense because like, you know, this game didn't have climbing or flying, so you, you, we have to consider it when you're building it. Like, what's it going to look like now that I can, you know, do all this right, right. and move around quickly? Um, well, and in, in builder mode, you can go outside of the map and really create what you need in and outside and uh, check out your playability in a whole different way. It's really incredible. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it, it's been It's been so much fun. Yeah. Um, 
I guess, I guess kind of going more towards the question, you know, art versus playability. Um, probably more playability, but I do try to make things look look good if I can. If, if <laughs> you know, if, uh, <laughs> if, if it warrants. There's certainly a couple other builders out there that are, you know, light years ahead of me in terms of all these the fine, minute details, you know. Um, yeah. And it's really impressive what what you can do with a bunch of, you know, even just kind of making this with a bunch of circles and squares and just having the patience to fit it all together. Okay, so I was watching some of your content. I think it was even last night. Um, I want to say it's last night. And you spent like five minutes on a doorway or it was some kind of great uh, uh, doorway. Yeah. And yep. the details as I was watching you build it, I was absolutely amazed because like I'm so two dimensional when I build and you're literally <laughs> building pieces inside of other pieces on both sides so that it looks aesthetically a pleasing to the person that runs up and says this is a doorway and look at how detailed it is so i i totally acknowledge that that's something i'm missing out on in my builds <laughs> but uh <laughs> you and and you were just swooshing by it like it was nothing you were just like click click move 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 slice slice here we go that looks good size <laughs> size rotate all right done and i was just like oh. <laughs> <laughs> not fair <laughs> so um you do i mean we're gonna take a little walk around this map in just a moment but uh you do an amazing job on details that like i don't even think of and so that's kind of one of my uh reasons of doing these interviews is to um give some focus on such Isa Bay. Uh, thoughts and work welcome to and my channel that you guys put in to chapman making these 77 maps for us to play in um, Welcome to my channel. We get a lot of folks that come in to play Sandbox and they're like, oh, Raging this handicap. map is crap. Or, oh, Welcome you know, to my this channel. has glitches. Or, oh, Raging so, handicap. And it's not a perfect art. Said, uh, it's a very difficult it's task. A well and even our best builders uh, struggle with uh, different things and making them work and playable. So thank you for all of your efforts. Um, we should bring Absolutely. some attention to that. Um, so then can you describe maybe, uh, somebody that is brand new in building, what does the learning curve look like when you drop into a blank map and you want to learn how to do this? How would you describe the learning curve? <laughs> um, Mark Hurst 7. I mean, the first word that jumps to my mind Welcome is to my steep, channel. but maybe not in the way that, Mark Hurst 7. um, so like like for Set. instance, right? Like uh, if we're if we're just looking hey, around like, at the kind of outdoor area, yeah. you know, these uh -huh. are just cubes. These are just cubes and triangles, and it's two different textures layered to make make it kind of look like the wall has I don't know some more detail to it, right? So yeah. like yeah. like right if we pull this wall apart, you know, so there's this, oh, right? Somebody's so we using could. my sound effects. Thank you for that. Thank you for farting. <laughs> <laughs> so this is technically like five objects right here. Yep. So, um, you know, like, let's see here on group. Okay. You know, so this is just like that middle part that gives it, you know, a little more than, than like repeating this whole thing, you know, so it breaks it up. So I think it's a lot of it's just getting familiar with um, what you can do and kind of, you know, learning how to overlap things. Um, yeah. I think if you have to also be able to like look at something and think, okay, like this is how I could build it here. And then it, it's funny because even I'll go into my old mouse and be like, how did I build it that way? Because you just don't, <laughs> you don't know what you don't know. Exactly. You know, so like I, I know exactly what, what map you were talking about or what clip you were watching. That was my very <laughs> first map. And I had redone those events four different times. Holy you know, like cow. I just happened to be in there the other day. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I have a better way to do it. You know, like sometimes the idea, like you get, so involved making that map over like I made the map originally I think in like a weekend and then it got updated a bunch of times but you know again you don't know what you don't know so originally the they were uh cubes that were flattened and then you would it would actually like push you under them so they weren't like false cubes where you could just like walk through it and not get touched so I'd spent forever trying to figure out an angle you could go through on both sides and not get like stuck in a wall yeah exactly um, <laughs> then, there, then we got false cubes, and I was like, oh, I'll just rebuild the same thing out of false cubes. But there are always, like, these big gaps in between. Like, you could tell someone was behind it, you know? Okay. Uh, where in the original game, it was like it was like that kind of, uh, like, a cheese grater, like, very fine lines going across. Mm -hmm. You could kind of tell someone was there, but at a glance, you might, you know, miss it and then get shot. Um, 
So I changed them again and again. Then, you know, again, I just changed them. And now I'm really happy <laughs> with them. Nobody okay. plays the map anymore, but at uh-huh. least I've crossed it off. I can sleep better. You are. Exactly. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> well, uh, I just want to say hello to some people in chat so that you know they're here. Um, more cowbell. Hello, uh, Kata, Sergeant cowbell. Slaughter, uh, yeah, Shanila. Uh, if I slaughtered your name, I'm sorry. Arms Reach, <laughs> Robert, hello. Arms. Isabel, uh, Chapman, hello. Raging Handicap, Mark Hurst, my lurker in disguise, my lurker buddy. Um, and Miss Weller. There's a Miss Weller. Oh, oh Miss Mrs. Weller. Yes, hey. yeah, yes. <laughs> Over on I our sent Facebook the link. side. Uh, we also have Mark Hurst. He's, you know, Mark Hurst is all over all content, all over every stream. And if I haven't said this before, him and I lurk the most in Population One. It seems uh, we find each other in every stream, saying hello, hello. <laughs> um, so if he shows up to your content, just know uh, he's eyeballing you. He is watching you for how good you are. <laughs> uh, Michael, hello as well in uh, Facebook chat. Um, so let's just keep rolling in terms of, um, you know, the learning curve. Was there anything else you wanted to add to that before we keep moving? Um, I would probably say the best group of, of people in terms of po- like the pop one community was the builder community in the beta. Um, I just got to give a shout out to that really quickly as it relates to the question. It was like, you know, like it, the, the Facebook groups the, uh, and the discords and the Reddit, it can said, all get toxic. You know, someone's mad, you know, the game's got an issue and it just snowballs just and everyone's just kind of piling on. Arms reach the builder was so positive for those like said, six months that we were in it. It was like, no we were pressure. all kind of sad when it went to go live because that group was like, it just, it was just really, really great. It was like, no, no, no problems. Um, so going back to your question, um, I think the way you get better as a builder, um, kind of like the same way that, uh, like I got better at skateboarding, like, you know, kind of like iron sharpens iron. If you're just mm-hmm. around other people that are creative and motivated, mm-hmm. you know, you're constantly trying to push each other. You know, I was talking to Ascom, uh, last night. Who's in chat right now? So <laughs> that's clown. Uh, Chapman heard your name too. Um, mm-hmm. is, you know, like you, you might make some detail that like, you know, everyone playing it doesn't really care. Right. But like another builder comes in and is like, how did you do that? Let me pull this off the wall and decon. Oh, so that's how you did that. You know, so just that kind of curiosity of always trying to improve upon. Um, And I think if you were kind of by yourself, you would maybe maximize it and then you wouldn't have any other outside ideas to influence your own growth. Mm -hmm. So I think just, you know, if I was a new builder just hanging around some people that you don't have to be like the best builder, just hanging around other people that have built so that you can kind of get your feet wet. I think it can be a little daunting to start up by yourself. Where's a good place that we can find other builders? Um, There's the sandbox community on the pop one discord. That's probably the easiest place. There's like sandbox discussion and get tips. There's like six or seven channels in a forum. That would be the easiest place. And there's a couple of people that have joined or not joined, but posted recently. There's a, a younger guy named waste of Fox 84. He's been doing some good maps and he's, uh, you know, on the younger side, but he's, you know, doing some really cool things. And he's like, you know, it's kind of like when we were at the beginning, you're just cranking out maps left and yeah, right, you know, yeah. testing things out for sure. Well, uh, question from chat. And I don't know if I should ask you or Miss Weller. SGT this slaughter underscore. Uh, do you really like bourbon or Said, is it just a ruse? Hear that Weller <laughs> is French for water. Well, if you want to answer really that, Mrs. French. Weller, you can, but so can I. Uh, yeah. So I think at our, at our, at our peak, we had 220 bottles in the bourbon cabinet. Uh huh. <laughs> so so maybe then that's COVID a happened. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. We've thinned out the, the mix since COVID. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's since COVID. <laughs> it's been my favorite pastime. <laughs> um, let's see. What would you think is uh, the most requested feature um, or maybe the top three most requested feature? Mm. Mm. I mean, there's so many. And now that I'm on the spot, I can't think of all the best ones. So of I'll rely on the chat to help me out. But uh, <laughs> I can tell you this, the, the number one game mode that builders want is capture the flag. And I think even just players want is capture the flag. Mm-hmm. We would all love to have that. Um, another one would be, you know, an interchangeable skybox. Like it'd be great to just 
take the foothills blue sky out of here and have this be on the nighttime space map yes, right but i would love that i can't i would have to yeah i would I'll, but i have to rebuild it if i wanted to do that and i'm probably not doing that yep <laughs> um i think a third one a big one that would be huge for the community and you could even tie this to like seeker silver and it's been floated before by a number of people uh you know being able to save an asset like you know like say this like comic card right here save it and then take it to another you know map yeah. and, or being able to publish it so like so like i could put that out or i could put you know whatever i construct and then like you a, could a pull it into your own builder map. file so that you can plop in things that you want to save and transfer over i would love something like that <laughs> i'd come Even in here to, like, and i would silver. take all of your stuff and then I'd go over and Tom's build a map. underscore. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Said. Yeah, there's Copy so many things in maps where you're like, oh, I wish I could just have that. Or maybe it's just like Monkey or Taffy or whoever would come into my map yeah. and build it for me. Yeah. Well, Arms <laughs> Reach just echoed that. Copying things to other maps. Yeah. Um, well, especially like I'm just thinking of things like more Cowbell has uh, the minions. Um, and there's mm. just things like that that I know takes intricate time to get every detail, the measurements and everything just right. Um, that if you want to add, you know, a special minion to every single map, just as a little joke, uh, you have to recreate right. it in every map. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. uh, yeah, I get that totally. Um, well, I'd like you to take me on a little, little adventure. The way that these builder interviews are going to be working is you have control of the room instead of me. And we are in builder mode so that you're able to show me things, teach me things. Um, and so I'd like you to teach me something that maybe uh, I either suck at or I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> treat me like a brand new builder and show me something mm. that seems like... Wow, if you just knew this, it would frustrate you so much less. Ah, as a new builder. Well, so, you know, the alphabet thing was, I was going to, we were going to cover, but then they gave us an alphabet in between the last time we talked. Mm -hmm. um, so here, we can fly under the map. This is how we used to do it the old school way. Okay. <clears throat> I love this, you guys. This is, this might shock and awe you. <laughs> All right. So basically, we used to build our alphabets like heathens. Um, and there's been a number of alphabet maps that have been made um, over time, different fonts. And Monkey and I uh, pretty much have the same font with maybe a few tiny variations. Um, but basically, I found out as well that you could, if you could just make the letter B, you could make almost every other letter that you need, right? So mm -hmm. like if we were making A, all I would have to do is just ungroup this, you know, and then delete bottom part. Common ground VR. Right. And now you've got A. Welcome to my right, channel. So C, D, E, F, G, H. You know, you make Set. all those from B. So basically what I would do is hey, like you hey. would just, I would just make B, scooch it over one, you know, and then you would just kind of take out what you don't need. And I got really good at this. this. <laughs> you make the letter B and you have like half the alphabet done <laughs> yeah there's it's only amazing. like a couple of specialty letters mm -hmm. but um, now they've given us an alphabet in uh building so that's nice <laughs> and the so the only issue i have with that so like let's say like we wanted to spell let's say we wanted to spell trixie right so, uh -huh. so i've got the letters pulled up here so i'd go like t r I, X, I, E. Okay, like this, that's great. I have all the letters, right? Right. But all these letters are like now in like on different planes, different heights, and it's kind of a pain to like get everything Yeah. kind of like scooch yeah, to where you want it. So like there's, there's a little simplicity to like, you know, making that letter B, having it all on the same row. And then if you build it on the grid, you know, I have a one cube block for my spacing. So like again, like while you could make letters faster this way, it, it's almost faster once you have an alphabet to construct them this way. And your okay. budget Illic 3 is going to be a tad bit cheaper using Welcome this font set than the oh, one that they give you. Good to know. Okay. So those of you that uh, are not builders or not builders yet, uh, you have a budget for how much you are able to put in a map. Uh, and if you put too much and it goes over your 100%, 
uh, it either won't load or it's not playable. You can't publish it. Um, some of them are playable. They just take a while to load. And so uh, all of your maps that you guys see in Sandbox are below a budget of 100%. And these builders take a lot of time putting things in and then taking out a ton of stuff to make this work. So, um, I mean, hats off to you because how amazing some of these maps must be before you have to make them publishable. Like, I could just imagine <laughs> some of the details. Things like water drops, you know, things like just tiny little things that make such great detail that if you just take it away, it takes off like 2%. And you're like, oh, well, I'll just take off all of Command them. Commander root. <laughs> so, yeah. No welcome water drops. to my channel. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more thing about budget is, uh, so while my alphabet is cheaper, it's technically... Uh, more assets in total. So we okay. recently did a test to kind of like look at load times. Mm -hmm. um, so I won't go into the details, but um, you know, having to look, it's, it's really not so much the budget. So you could have a map that's at hundred percent, but I could just like spawn a hundred uh, versions of the nightclub, which is like, I don't know, 0.4%. Mm -hmm. um, and that map would load really fast because the nightclub, the nightclub counts as like one line item. Uh, whereas like, you know, the letter B here is like seven, you know, seven alone. Um, so you, load time is kind of directly correlated to the number of assets, not necessarily the budget because there's okay. hundred percent budget maps that load super fast. Okay. All right. They're, they're probably mine without a lot of detail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think that I, I was told that Spears, uh, no, somebody's farting, excuse me. Uh uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Spheres, do those actually take up um, more than other things? I mean, I was told that spheres are pricey when you're building. They are. And um, okay. Dirty Monkey 78 made a, a graphic that's pinned in, in a Discord uh, that gives you the cost, like what, how many of what costs 1%. And the spheres okay. are the most expensive. Okay. Of, so of, and it's like not even close. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your maps. We're going to start venturing around. I'm going to let you kind of take me on a tour. I want to learn, uh, what is your favorite map and some of your map titles. So, um, tell me where to go and I'll follow you around. I'm ready. Okay. Um, well, I think I'll start with the very first map that I made in the builder. Okay. So um, we'll just kind of briefly go through this. There's a lot of uh, deprecated assets that are in here. What they did, what, they, what it was, is they were spelling out the names of rooms. So we only had like eight textures in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And so as you can see, the inside of this level was fairly dark. Um, a, lot, a lot of grays, you know, and trying to use this kind of weird blue texture. I still don't know what these are supposed to be. Um, but we have more colors of them now. <laughs> They just don't look like, I don't they know, look they look like, they look like dragon scales. <laughs> that's yeah. Dragon scale shingles. I, uh -huh. I can see that. Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> um, but so when I made this map originally, um, I kept this wall just as a reminder. So there was a, an entire weekend where I fired up a Nintendo 64 and in this level, uh, you could kind of count a pattern on the wall. So like, okay. you know, it's like every few seconds I would like walk down and be like, okay, it's like 18 down seven across four to the right and then I'd come back in here and I would just like, you know, duplicate tiles across and I'd check her every other one and then recount ah. to make sure it was 18. Then I would, then I would like walk to make sure it felt like it was the right distance. Cause the last thing you want is ha having to walk too far and then it feels slow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of where that's yes. Mm -hmm. um, it, this map needs to play fast. I mean, it's nothing but corridors, you know, hallways, you know, small rooms. So you don't want to feel like it's taking forever to get to the next area, especially when you're being chased in such a small map. Yeah, exactly. I want places to hide, though. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, not many of those in my maps, <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being honest. That's all right. So <laughs> then there was, uh, let's see here. This would be, I guess, the version that I that we published when we went uh, live with Sandbox. Uh huh. Or very close to. Yep, I remember this. Uh, and so there used to be. Yeah, this is actually earlier. Oh, I 
missed it. How do I miss these all the time? <laughs> uh, we used to have a broken asset that you could walk through on one side and then not come back on the other, but they since patched it. So okay. anyway, this is just that's old from when it worked. But so now you can see um, that you know this is a much brighter level, you know, with the kind of white uh, space like. You know, and so kind of, I was really happy when we got these textures and I was able to retexture the whole level and, and add these red fences as I kind of gotten better with the builder. Yeah, these are um, cool. And uh, there's the, the vents that we were talking about, right? So I think, are these the ones? Oh, yeah, these are the actually solid ones that make you go up or down in them. Yes. Yep. <laughs> um. So it was cool to be included with with the release. Uh, you know, Cabell's in chat. He he had won the the contest, so the golf map uh, was included. But then they ended up including a couple of other builders maps uh, in the initial release. So it was really neat to be a part of that. I remember logging in on the first day, and it was that night. I would looked at my map, and I saw that my map was being played in like 20 different rooms, and they were like yes. all full. And it was just like, it was really cool. I counted like how many people and there was like 82 players playing. And I was just like, man, that's really, wow. that's really cool. <laughs> you know? Um, awesome. Yeah. Um, so then after this, just so we don't spend kind of too much time here. Yeah. There was the Christmas update <laughs> that, that I did for this level. Mm -hmm. With the candy canes and the presents and that stuff. You guys had a competition for that, right? I don't know if it was much of a competition as it was uh, just kind of something to do. It was Christmas time. It was like everyone wanted to like add Christmas stuff to the map. Yeah. You know, uh, Ask Clown built me some snowmen. He, one of Hi. them's back here. How cute. Oh, look. Yeah, those, that was a pain. I'm never doing those again. <laughs> You're never doing those the lights, lights again? <laughs> never again. Oh. oh, my God. It took so much time to do. <laughs> But they're so cool. <laughs> they're great. They're now. great. We've got banana noses and <laughs> carrot noses, you guys. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and I had I had Han or uh, hidden a bunch of stuff in like the gumdrops around the level. Um, mm -hmm. There was stuff hidden in these presents, you know, just Look at this tree. stuff that you'd have to stumble across to find. Mm -hmm. And this was probably the best update. Was this room is kind of so open and bare. If you get caught in the middle, you're kind of stuck. But mm -hmm. you know, having the tree here with the presents, people would hide in it, or you at least had some cover. Oh, that's uh, probably where room. I'd be hiding in the tree down by the presents. <laughs> That'd be me <laughs> for sure. <laughs> awesome. Any other maps you want to visit? So I'll show you the final version of this map. Okay. And so for those who don't know, um, there actually is a secret in this room. So if you were to walk behind uh, Bond here, you would see a little arrow. Oh, okay. Tell if you just walk this along way. this this wall, oh, kind of. So this okay, okay. is something you can kind of do pre-match. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that now that I think of it. <laughs> I want to just find something. Oh, look, there's some of his build. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't want to get rid of, like, again, saving assets would have been great, but I didn't want to get rid of of Santa Bond or have to make him again. Exactly. Um, so um, so for, for players that join in some of these maps, um, you know, I've actually heard them say like, what are all these people or what are all these things on the walls? Um, they were asking about shout outs and stuff like that. So if you guys don't already know, um, our builders like to give shout outs to people that come in and help with the map, that review the map, that uh, give feedback on it. Um, these are the people that built your map. So that's what a lot of the text is that you guys see on your maps in Sandbox. It's just a little shout out, something that they can do um, to give credit to people that have put a lot of hard work in them. So that's what those are for. Um, you guys have uh, a lot of different signage and a lot of different notifications to let you guys know like who was uh, responsible for these lovely pieces of art. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so what about, um, you've mentioned that Big Box has published uh, some of your maps. Um, which ones have they published that we would recognize? Um, so there was this one. Uh, and real quick, 
I just got to, uh, just because you had mentioned it at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, right here. These were the, the yep. uh, greats you were talking about. Yep. Yep, these are them. Ha! Oh, look at that. Yeah, so cool. Okay. Yeah, and you know, like, this map's not in rotation anymore, and it was more for me just, like, you know, had some time, didn't want to do anything different. And then uh, I actually, S Clown and I worked on this. So in the original level, there's a red sky, um, and I happened to save this map when we had the one-way mirror. So you can see that you can't, you know, go down, but if you're below, you can see through. And if you were to climb up, you could oh, that's hang neat. and climb on it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like instead of using the zone barrier and seeing the blue as you get near, mm -hmm. um, it just gives the appearance of like of there's the an outside sky. that you can't climb yeah. out of. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's awesome. I'd never noticed that before. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so let's see. That one was on there. Uh, this one was on there. This one probably isn't the best level for new players. Um, this is very heck of this is Ragtown. <laughs> I love this one. I love it guys. too. I love it because of one specific thing. This. <laughs> <laughs> I will sit here in a pre lobby and just do this back and forth <laughs> until I am blue in the face. <laughs> uh, some awesome uh, items that you can get in this map too. I know the launchers are in here as well. Those are fun. Um, when I played this map in our early testing, we played it with like nades and zones and I forget what else, maybe mm. it was swords. And I felt like I was engulfed by nothing, but like I was <laughs> never outside of a zone grenade. I ran around in a zone grenade the entire game, but it was so much fun. <laughs> But uh, I love this yeah. map. You've done a really great job. You've done some like updates on weapons and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this is one that I deeply enjoy with a group of friends. <laughs> awesome. Well, um... let's see. Um, do you have any specifically um, specific maps that have not been published or like rooms that are not playable but artistic that you'd like to share? Mm. Nothing like, okay. well, actually I would like to highlight this one. Okay. So um, when they had the, the map contest, um, yeah. So when they had their their map <laughs> contest, the SGC one, uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, they uh, monkey and Ta Mon monkey and taffy were like they wanted to like make a uh, a trophy. And then when we, the five of us uh, who got like you know one through five, I would take a picture with it. And we we're like, oh, that'd be cool. So like, pop in the room and and I have so many versions of this map, but we don't have time to pull all those up. But yeah, all yeah. they had was like. Like a, they, I think they had like the red carpet stairs, and they had the confetti, and they had uh -huh. the uh, trophy. trophy. And so we took. Yeah. <laughs> so then I left, and I came back, and then all of a sudden they had built many versions of their maps. And then we were like, <laughs> we should have all the maps like yep. be combined into one map, and then make that a map. Yep. And then up here, these probably look like hieroglyphics, but we spent like three hours trying to determine how the maps would connect. So that's what these kind of look like like we were like maybe l shapes with one in the middle or yeah maybe like like hallways or just you know it, you wouldn't believe how much time that took to, to really come until we finally ended up with the last one yeah which it's kind of a variant of the last one but for anyone who, who hasn't uh seen this map it's got a lot of of people's favorites in there um it's got you know the most Including liked map the, in the uh, game terminal Matt by uh dirty monkey <laughs> Very cool. Uh, now, I remember this one uh, specifically because um, I got to stream it for your guys' like, debut. Um, so oh, I nice. got to come in here and check it out and stream it and show off Sandbox before Sandbox was like big Sandbox, right? So um, yeah. this is yeah. like some nice artwork. And I love uh, the trophy and the confetti. You guys can always come in here and take a picture of yourself 
holding the trophy. I know that uh, <laughs> Weller did that for me last time. We adventured in here. <laughs> and then I actually felt like a champ for once. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Uh, do you work on one map at a time or do you do several maps? I used to do one map at a time. I like to just kind of put all my focus into one. And then I mm -hmm. think as I got more comfortable with the builder, um, you, you kind of, you know, you might put an idea down and start something else, or you kind of get to a point in the map where you're like, you, maybe you did a challenging part. Um, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times when building a map, it's like, yeah, I want to build the map, but like, you're like, how am I going to do this one part? And it's like solving that piece of the puzzle is like really like the, uh, the prize for you as the builder mm -hmm. to, you know, to kind of work out how it's going to work. And then you might get past that part and be like, ah, well, now it's just like, the last 10% and you're kind of lazy about finishing it. And you kind of have to like drag yourself across the finish line sometimes. <laughs> um, I get how that feels. <laughs> you probably way I more do. than me, but <laughs> <laughs> I made a ball pit once and I, at, at the end I really gave up on my <laughs> um, details. I was just like, Ugh, I know it looks all clunky, but I swear that's like a pile of vomit. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Um, what so about, there, yeah, go ahead. So there actually is one map that I that I do have that is not published that Ascon and I worked on. Um, I'm trying to find it really quickly. And the idea was that anyone could take this map and make their own map because basically we made a bunch of assets for you to kind of make your own walls and hallways. Nice. And, okay. Uh, let's see here. Now, while he's looking for that map, you guys, when you are in Sandbox and you see arrows and things like this, it's telling you where to go. If they are um, pieces to show you where to go to get to the map. And so this is kind of what Weller was talking about. Bits and pieces of everybody's maps. You guys recognize this one from Sandbox on the big map? So these are all the uh, top winners. And uh, yeah, that's what he was talking about is uh, all of these bits and pieces put together. You guys recognize I did an interview here at the uh, the airport one before, the terminal. Yeah. All right. Take me away, Calgon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one kind of cool thing about this was we did this in four days and we had to share it across four time zones. And, you know, since we can't have like a cloud save, mm -hmm. you know, so basically someone would get done working on it. Uh, usually Taffy or Monkey would then pass it to me because they're in the UK. They'd pass it to me. I would work on it until about the nighttime. Then to give it to Hogwash, he would take it. He was in like California. Uh -huh. And in the morning, like get it from him and then it would go to Love Trooper. He's in Thailand. And so, it, you know, just the logistics of, and it was kind of cool to like, every time you got the map back, you'd see like a little bit more done on the level. Yeah. And like how it was all coming together. So it was a really, it was a fun project to be a part of. I'm really glad we did that. Mm -hmm. I just want to highlight this broken glass over here, you guys. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> so this is the one that's not published and not nearly finished. Um, so like, like Doom... Um, before there was Doom, there was Wolfenstein made by id Software. And uh, I think this was over Christmas that I had started working on this. And Ascon jumped in and uh, helped me build some of these uh, sprites, as you would call them. But there's a whole kind of floating mess of them over here from the doors in the bottom are probably my favorite out of all of them. They just look yeah, so, like, cool. <laughs> solid. For real. I like um, those. <laughs> this one looks like a safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should do right. that safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we made all these blocks up here, like that kind of prison cells, some office stuff. Um, Very Mario. And so the idea was that you could just, <laughs> you just uh, copy them all and then like mm -hmm. make your own hallways. Um, but they are not budget friendly, so I don't know if it'll ever actually come to fruition. I mean, you can maybe make a small level, but it wouldn't be able to make anything super big. Making a logo is probably more fun than anything else. So, and this is what he's talking about, guys. This is not an easy thing to do. There's so many layers that you have to work with, and all of these are individual pieces squashed together 
Um, you can see that when you go up to something, you can see their seams. Um, if you look really closely, don't say that to a builder, though. They don't like to be told that you can see their seams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same thing with all the lettering. And this is special font. This is not your basic lettering that he was showing us earlier. So you do all of this, you do all of this, and then you smack it together and it, it pieces together and it looks beautiful. Um, you guys can't see it, but when I highlight it with my cursor here, you guys can see all of those parts. And so these are things that when you see in Sandbox something like that, how amazing it is that it's actually a shit ton of pieces in there. So nice uh, example of some hard work that you guys put in for these things. So we're venturing on. As you guys are uh, hanging out in <laughs> chat, hello. Thank you for showing up. Miss Misery, I see you. Uh, Risky, I see you too. Common Ground, I didn't say hello earlier. Mad Daz and Raging Handicap on uh, both platforms. Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right. So here we are, Weller. Talk to me about this one. Um, so like Fragtown's a quake map, um, and that's kind of where I had stopped playing video games, uh, at least like these kind of games, like was mm -hmm. like, uh, I don't know, 90, 99, 2000, used to play on my dad's PC, play Quake 2 online. Mm -hmm. and those maps were just so much fun to, you know, just run around, you're just trying to get as many people and not get got as many times, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> And so there's this great resource uh, on the web called Level World, LVLworld.com. So someone uh, was able to make Quake 3 load in a web browser. And then you can look at all these user, you can walk around all these user generated maps. Okay. And so this is, uh, I guess, the original author, Swelt, and the map was named and in, called Inspired. And so okay. just walked around it for a couple of weeks, you know, again, <laughs> trying to figure out. How big the hallway should be, what the game speed should be set at, you know, how quickly yeah. should I be able to like get up these stairs? Um, oh my gosh, this... all of the details. <clears throat> Look, <laughs> oh yeah, so this one, like, ask him, give me a, a bunch of crap for this, but uh, <laughs> he, he's like, he called these like uh, handicap signs. I'm like, I just thought it would be nice if you knew when you were running by, like, what the gun is supposed to be. I don't want to do it in all my levels. Uh, but that, that way, like, you know, if you're like a P90 person or like an MP5 person or whatever, you know, like if you were to play this level multiple times, you would know like, all right, my guns are like in these spots. And so that's where yeah. I want to go. Well, and not to mention things like this, um, a lot of our new free to play pop folks and a lot of new players show up in sandbox before they get uh, sweaty enough to play in squad. <laughs> so um, this is actually uh, very nice for them to have things where they can start recognizing and doing that <clears throat> memory of what what the guns are that they like to play with. So I like the handicaps. I like the arrows. <laughs> it helps me out, you know. <laughs> Gosh, I've been playing forever, and I still think I'm new. <laughs> I know. I know the I've feeling. been in a lobby with you builders, too, and you guys are all sweats. I was like, oh, these are builders. They aren't, they aren't the best players that, you know, stream and compete all the time because they're always building. Oh, hell no. You guys are just as bad. <laughs> You're just as terrible. <laughs> so there, there's kind of an unspoken rule too if you're playing your map like you don't lose on your own map mm -hmm. like if you built it yeah. it doesn't matter who your teammates are like you have to win your own map and it <laughs> and someone will always say it if you end up losing on your map and you're like oh i can't believe you lost on your own map man like yeah you know <laughs> you should have you i would have every advantage in my maps versus anyone else's you know what i mean because i know <laughs> all the right. corners i know, you know where, where everything i could are <laughs> Yeah, that so, one glitch that you left, you left it there on purpose. <laughs> that would be So here's a, here's a secret for you. Uh-huh. So when I saw the map, this is the room I wanted to make first. It actually okay. ended up being the second room that I made, but I really just like the openness. I just thought this was like a really neat thing to kind of build. Mm -hmm. um, something that's not included in his version of the map is I put this in here. Yes. Oh, look at this. So you, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> you got So you can see out, but they can't see they you. Can't see and you me. can't shoot uh -huh. out either. So that's why I had to put the, the signage, because I figured someone would be sitting here just like unloading at a wall and uh -huh. not do anything. They can't see you. 
<laughs> and then you just kind of get shot out of a cannon um, just to get you down the hallway. Very cool. Very nice. This is why I wanted to bring you guys all in here to see these things, uh, to see things that you might miss on your, you know, drop into sandbox to play some TDM or what have you. And uh, you miss out on these details. Now you're going to start paying attention to something as simple as, you know, this piece right here. What are actually um, are these pieces? It's several pieces here. I can see yellow and a border and another piece. And like, so you start paying attention to things like that. And uh, now I can't come into maps without being in like some kind of awe. <laughs> Forget playing. <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, that's a nice detail. Look at these steps. Those are perfect. Oh, look at the, <laughs> look at the walls. They're textured. Oh, like, yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um <laughs> What about any devs maps that you like the most? Uh, any maps that you've seen devs uh, come up with that you're just like, that's probably my favorite? I know exactly which one's my favorite dev map, uh -huh. and I'll load it. Perfect. Not a lot of people agree with me on this uh -huh. one. Uh -huh. um, it probably just suits my play style, but... Basically, oh, you have like spawns on, <laughs> yeah, you got spawns on this side, spawns on the other side, and it's just mm -hmm. a very open, you know, and you can kind of rotate around, you can try to hold the, the high ground, you can kind of duck through the middle and escape. A lot of people spend time trying to skirt around these rocks. Yeah. Um, there's just, you know, lots of different ways to kind of attack this map, and and it's a small map, and it's, um, you know, you're never... The worst thing you can get in Sandbox is not getting to the score before the 15 minutes runs out. Yeah. Um, I don't <laughs> care for slow maps. I really don't. You know, like Vortex, you could finish that map in five minutes. It goes so quick. I'm not saying they all have to be that fast, but, you know, you should definitely be getting to the winning score and not time expiring. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with you there. Um, I like fast maps as well. Um, I've been in one before where it's been like, I, I don't think we've ever completed it. It's always been timed, but you know, um, I get that. Uh, you guys like palm trees with coconuts. Come on now. Those, that is not built by somebody that created a palm tree. That's somebody who actually took a tree and created the leaves singularly and then created the coconut singularly and the the tree um stump itself or the center of the tree so these are the things that i think are just amazing because outside of what i just showed you when you're playing the map they look like palm trees yeah just cool all right so um that brings me to some other questions here um what do you think um, let's see here. The most used asset in Sandbox. The cube. The cube. It's, uh -huh. Yeah, it's it's, it's so not versatile. a certain. Yeah, it's not like a, a sexy uh, you know asset or anything, but yeah. it, you know, this is what makes all of Sandbox run. Yeah. Um, and it's it's not even close. Okay. Um, and what about? Let's see here. Um, we talked a little bit about map secrets and map hiding points and things like that. Um, do you have any others that you want to share or um, any interesting like uh, secret hiding places to go to when you're in a map that everybody might know about? So I put, I think, six or seven secrets in this one map, and I didn't make them obvious. Um, so this was a, another GoldenEye map um, called Bunker, and I had wanted to make this one right after I made Complex, but we didn't quite have the assets and the textures to, to kind of do it. Okay. Um, but then, you know, we eventually got there, and so I kind of started out by making a hallway, and I figured if I could make the hallway, I could make the rest of it. Um, Spike soda. <laughs> 
got to show the devs some love. I figure, yeah. you know, they get such a hard time. So yeah, I tried. I got Casey in the Doom map, and, and I got Spike in this one. But mm -hmm. So I made this original hallway, and, and I, you know, saw how much it cost because I knew these walls were going to have to be all over the map. And if it was mm -hmm. too much, then it wasn't going to be worth it. But um, <clears throat> So I ended up making this because it was efficient enough. But what was really fun was I got to put secrets all over the place. And what I was doing uh, with most of my maps was I'd, put a, I'd build a 107 just like the numbers. Mm -hmm. So if you found a secret, you'd see a wall that said 107. That's in, you know, in the map oh. details, I'd put, like, find 107. Okay. Just kind of like a cowbell has, like, a hidden cowbell on all the maps. Yes. So with this one, I went to the Rad Discord, and I was like, who wants to be in the map? And people started responding. So instead of putting 107s everywhere, I just put my buddies in the map. So if you uh, kind of drop down here, <laughs> we got uh, pinballers. ID hole and uh, yeah. so whatever gun they wanted <laughs> wanted like a gold ump so he gets a gold ump over here yeah back up um let's see here I know there's not like a super efficient way to get to all of these but we'll try to I'll try to be quick um there's actually a bunch of stuff inside this safe, and you wouldn't know it unless you ran by it, because like stuff would start highlighting. Yeah. Um, let's see here. But there's like a red AK, like heels, two backpacks, builds, a uh, hundred shield. <laughs> um, Shit. So if you like, if you walk by it in game, you know you'll kind of see like you know when like someone dies and their stuff is kind of like in a in a rock or something, it yeah. kind of highlights. Yeah. So if you were running by here, you would see it do the same effect and then might be like, wait, what's in here? And just start, like, grabbing at stuff. Okay. And uh, in the game, how do you collect it? Do you just reach in and, like, start grabbing? You can get to it from right about here. You don't have to have okay. your hand in. You just have to be okay. kind of near the outside. Awesome. Okay. Cool. We got uh, Zero Cool's stash. He's got the P90 right here. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> We've got, uh, Rad Fox has a bunker. She's got all kinds of stuff in, in her uh, uh, secret area. Chapman, he gets maybe the coolest one. So, like, in the game, there's this kind of uh, grate that you can never get to. Yeah, okay. And so I was trying to figure out, like, how to, how that might work. And then um, Ask Clown built me a urinal out of false cubes. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, shit, we're going into the urinal, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And so oh, we got Chapman's no. Corner. Okay, this was back when M60 was. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, it would be faster to fly up than to yeah, walk okay. back. <laughs> Very cool. And we, this one's probably a difficult one to find because you probably would only find it if you were getting chased and you just, just kind of squeeze chance. through. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. And Rad Fox is we got with her loadout. Yeah. She's like, I want all of them. I was like, okay. <laughs> so we got that. And uh, I think there's it's been a while since I've been in here. We got the Spike Soda, which you saw, Plato's yep. Cave. I think, I think that's all of them. Okay. Very cool. But yeah. And again, like you mentioned, it's like, it's fun just to put like names of players you play with, you know, so that, that they might see it. Like I had Russian vodka's name in here before it was uh spike, uh, spike sodas. Um, built, you know, and fun to give shout outs to your fellow builders. You know, I've got like cowbell monkey, ass clown, taffy, their names in a bunch of maps, you know, and, yeah. and I'll see my name and other names in, in their maps. So it's just kind of a cool little tip of the cap, you know, to your, to your builder buddies. Yeah. I, mean, I talk to those guys like every day. <laughs> well, let's say that I am a brand new builder and I want to get my maps noticed. I want to see uh, what I can do to get my map published. Uh, what would what advice would you give to me? The best thing you can do is to post it. And if you're on Discord, right? I realize not everyone is. The best thing you can do is to be on Discord and post it in the Pop One Sandbox discussion forum. Okay. Um, post the name of the map and some details about it in a picture. Don't make a post without pictures because it's not really going to entice anyone to go look at it. Okay. Uh, make a video if you want, you know, as well. Um, but just put some type of media up there. And if people are interested in it, they're going to go look at it. And then okay. um, there's a group of people that will uh, look at various maps and play them. And they kind of uh, look to see, like, would they be fit for the playlist? Mm -hmm. So that's so 
you know, and a lot of those maps get fed from the, you know, the Discord form or the Reddit post, the Facebook post. But if you just make a map and don't tell anyone about it, it's going to be hard really to hard to get there. noticed. Okay. Um, like All I, right. I look at the recently published maps every now and again, and I've given a couple of those map names to them to play. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you find a gem, you know, just someone you've never even heard of. And you're like, man, this map kicks ass. I've, you know? I've noticed a few that I've I've been searching and searching and searching, and I'm like, oh, I haven't seen this person's name. This is an awesome map. <laughs> so yeah, I've run across right. a couple of them for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, um, do you interact with your fans when they, you know, when they recognize your name or they recognize, you know, hey, I was just in a, a sandbox match that said Weller on the wall. Is that you? Um, or, you know, if they approach you in Discord and, and mention something about your maps, do you interact with your fans? Yeah, yeah, it was kind of... <laughs> It kind of became a local celebrity, um, <laughs> and that's like a like like local, like very local, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was kind of neat, you know. I'll, I'll load in like in squads, and um, mostly it was from like people that you know that I've been playing squads with or against, you know. Um, and they're like, "Oh, well, I was like, oh, I loved your fireball map, man." Um, mm -hmm. So I get that, uh, you know, from time to time, and so it's fun. And people, I'll be like, "Oh, yeah, there's a secret in this area. You should go check that out. This is how you get to it." Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it's, it's cool to interact with them and, you know, they're, they're so excited to kind of, to tell you about it and to like, see you. So, you know, it'd be kind of, it wouldn't be that cool to like, not give them the time back to, to, right. to talk to them, Right. <laughs> you know? Um, so I try to, if, you know, I try to, if someone mentions it, I try to talk to them, you know, I'll be like, it's a little too loud. Come over here, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool. Okay. Um, and then. Like, what about, like, you've mentioned a lot of your builder friends. What about mm -hmm. uh, anybody else that you'd like to give a shout out to, um, including your builder friends, devs, uh, or anybody that gives you the time to allow you to get into this game and work on it for hours? <laughs> so the number one would be Mrs. Weller, who, uh, mm -hmm. you know, lets me lets me do the building uh, and playing, and, and she's a saint for that. and. Let's Thank me know when I need to not be building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so number one to her, uh, definitely give a big shout out to uh, Big Box, Spike, and Casey. Um, they were the devs that we interacted with the most during the beta period, and they were awesome, uh, you know, taking feedback, making changes, communicating with us. Um, so it was really great. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, it's kind of hard to remember every single builder, you know, but uh, you know, off the top of my head, as as we've mentioned before, right? You know, uh, Cowbell, Dirty Monkey, Taffy, Arms Reach, uh, Ass Clown. Um, I know I'm forgetting like a ton of names, but mm -hmm. you know, um, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, just <laughs> builder the builder group that uh, we kind of made this little builder Discord, and um, it has a bunch of OG builders in it, and it's just uh, it's such a great community because you know, like I'll wake up in the morning. And, and to see like a new like someone's posting a picture like yeah you know built these things you know and it just kind of keeps it going kind of keeps all of us going. I imagine your um, group gets up in the morning and you open up Discord and somebody's made like a new asset and it's just like it's a new <laughs> window and you guys are all giddy about it. Is that kind of what it's like? <laughs> some some of that yeah. yeah. Um, here I'll, I'll show you something something neat here that I wanted to use in, awesome. in one of my maps and I haven't okay. done it yet. Okay. Um, but so if you, so here's an example, right? If we're walking around on this, this is just kind of this regular, I don't know, tile wood floor noise that you hear kind of everywhere, right? Yep. Yep. Um, but we have tons of assets, like we have grass assets, oh, you know, grass hills. Snipe, sniper vampire. <laughs> Um, and all the grass and snow stuff doesn't really reflect the sound. It's like it'll still be just this sound, uh -huh. um, which is kind of weird, walking. you know. Yep. But there are – I went and tested every single asset the other day. I was bored. And <laughs> I found a couple of different things. Um, so I'm only going to share one of them because some people on your stream already know some of the stuff and okay. didn't want to like okay. tell everybody. But this was probably the coolest thing that I found um, that I'll use at some point. Let me fence tarp. Okay. 
fence tarp. Okay. So you're like, what's <gasps> oh, so amazing it, about the fence tarp? What's so ASMR about this? I'm excited. I'm stupid excited about this. <laughs> Walk. <gasps> it's silent. Mm -hmm. Now, so how could we use that, right? Like, because you don't want to make a whole level full of like a bunch of blue fence tarp. That's yeah, like, yeah. not going to be appealing. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but now, what we do is we'll use a false cube. Uh huh. And the cube, the uh, we'll most used this. asset in Sandbox. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. And all we got to do is just kind of put this just above. Mm hmm. Right, so now you don't know that. You're just oh. like, wait, how, is my sound broken? What's going on? So now imagine making yeah. a map where you can't oh hear people sneaking up on you. You could, you know, there's a lot of different ideas you could make, like a swords only map or, you yeah. know, just whatever, like a haunted house or a think about like a maze, sneak. right? Oh my God. Oh, a maze would be great wait. because you would just come around the corner and yep. you'd be like, oh my God, get away from me. <laughs> yep. Oh my God, this is amazing. You know why? Because Devil's Reaper complains so often about not being able to hear his enemies. <laughs> I cannot wait for him to complain <laughs> about this one. Woohoo! <laughs> Sweet. Thanks for the share on that. <laughs> um, so we're down to our last couple of questions of our interview. Yep. And so this next one, I assume, is going to be the toughest question for you. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm ready. Who is your favorite builder? Let me get <sighs> close here and stare at you while you think. <laughs> favorite builder. <laughs> mm. So that's a tough question. Mm -hmm. um, Supposed to be. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of builders that I admire, and I think there's a lot of builders that build things differently like so everyone has their own strengths okay. right yeah um mm, okay so i'll just load the map let's just do that what's up guys in my stream as you guys are popping in i think my voice chat has uh turned off for whatever reason i'm not going to reset it at this point because we're near the end and i don't want it to go off and uh go over everybody who's been in the stream today but hello to mac cheesy and whiskey girl who are also saying hello to weller hello mac to cheesy whiskey yeah hello to green dragon who's also uh stopped by our facebook page to uh watch some of the interview thank you for that follow earlier sniper vampire i don't know why it's so hard for me to say sniper vampire there we go <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so for my money, when it comes to details, there's there's really only two people that are doing it, I think, at the highest level. And I'm, okay. and there's a lot of builders that can make things that are detailed. So I don't want to say that like there's just these two and nobody else like anywhere yep. close, but yep. but but Dirty Monkey made this during the um during the beta near the end. And when he made this uh, this like 3D version of Bowser from Mario on the bridge, I was like, wait, how did you make this? There's a bridge. Um, oh, yeah, in here. Yes. Yes, you guys, you have to see it from this side over here. Why am I flying weird? There we go. There we go. Okay. Look, you guys. <laughs> I do the music for the, the final... Uh, Bowser bridge thing, but uh, I can't redo it. Do, 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 I can't do it. <laughs> you guys, this is amazing. <laughs> now, as a huge at... fan of Nintendo myself and uh, loving this, absolutely loving all these details, Tetris pieces. Whoo! Yes, this is yeah, it... incredible. <laughs> His uh his attention to detail is um is impressive and it shows in his terminal map it shows in crash and burn crossfire mm -hmm. uh, he's mm -hmm. good at making like like structures look bombed out so like you know the little bricks of the wall are you know falling down look like they've been you know hit by a mortar and things like that yeah, he's got it's the little little link, link down there he's just There's a little no guy feeling about Link <laughs> Zelda's my all time favorite. <laughs> Yeah, this is just 
absolutely incredible. <laughs> Love this Donkey but Kong. <laughs> it was, you gotta look at the Nintendo Zapper. I remember looking mm -hmm. at the Zapper and I was like, what? I was like, that's like, I had this gone. I think I still have this somewhere. Oh, there's even, there's tubes that, okay. Oh yeah, there, I forgot about this whole level with um, Mario Kart. We have the Yoshis and Mario. Yeah, this is pretty much amazing. So that is uh, one of your favorites there, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I again, I, like. there's a lot of people's apps that I enjoy. But if you're talking about who I think might the best builder might be, it, it's hard okay. to ignore the details um, in, in his levels. But, you know, so again, yeah. it's it's... I do have him scheduled for an interview, you guys. So uh, if you're interested to see some of those detailed maps as well, make sure you guys are popping in this month as all my interviews this month are going to be around builders. Um, what are some of the best experiences that you've had in Sandbox? You've mentioned uh, sort of the Sandbox family you've created. That probably is up there. Uh, what would you say is your best experience in Sandbox? Oh, uh, best experience in sandbox. I mean, yeah, like it, the, the community itself <clears throat> is definitely number one. Um, I think maybe the, the coolest part, and this, this was back during the, beta, during the beta, was when we used to like play on TDM day every Wednesday to, to mm -hmm. see everyone's new maps. Mm -hmm. um, I'll load in, and, and I have all this uh, footage saved on my hard drive, but you would hear all these collective Ooh, ah, from like 24 <laughs> people and it's all talking over each other Yeah. because um, every week the maps got a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. So, you know, it was like a constant wave that we were all riding upwards. Yeah, um, <laughs> that, that was fun. I'd say like in terms of now, um, it's just kind of seeing like the new the new builders. Right. Because I know everyone from the beta. So it's really cool to run into like a new like like who made this and none of us know who they are. Right. You know, and you're like, and you're like, well, should we should we get them in the Discord? Like, should we add them? <laughs> you know, because uh, you just like you want to keep all the all the good talent around so that we can all keep pushing each other. Yeah, feed off um, of it for sure. Awesome. Well, uh, Weller, unlike all of our builders, you do share content and uh, you do stream a little bit. So I wanted you to go ahead and share where we can find your content online. Uh, yeah, so on Twitch, uh, Weller107 underscore, that's how you can find me. Okay. Um, usually playing squads. I've streamed the sandbox a little bit, but realize not everyone wants to see me twisting cubes around, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for hours at a time. But I, I do do that every once in a while. Um, and mainly I just stream to kind of catch clips of my friends when we catch them in lobby. You know, um, that's yep. the most fun part to like get them and then make a clip about it and send it to them. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for your time and uh, see if there was anything else you'd like to mention to our uh, new folks joining Pop One or joining Sandbox or thinking about building. Any last words? Um, I would say if you are. If you if you know if you play squads and you're like I don't want to play sandbox you know um, I used to be a bit more of a reserved squads player didn't mm -hmm. like to like be pushing or like leading the charge I'd kind of like let me stay back with an op let me kind of like not make too many waves I don't want anyone I don't want pink coming after me and destroying me <laughs> you know so if I could just keep distance away from everybody that would be fine uh -huh. um, but then like sandbox comes around and sandbox for me the way you know I played Quake and all those games 20 years ago was about pushing nonstop, you know, and, but not being careless. Like, you know, obviously you want to get more kills than you have your own deaths. Mm -hmm. um, so I remember when this came out, I mean, I was playing this a ton and then that really transferred over to squads being much more confident, like in being able to take right angles and, and peak here and, and just, you know, movement, all of it kind of improved for me. So yeah. now I'm much more in front of my squad. I'm probably too far ahead now and too confident. <laughs> Because then I'll be like, ah, oh, but he's, oh, he's one shot. He's right there. Push him, where, push him. Where, where are you guys? <laughs> yeah. Like, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, it's made the game more fun. So if you if you think you've kind of plateaued somewhere, <clears throat> you know, uh, in squads, you know, obviously look at Pink and all the other good, great content creators for strategies and tips on how to get better. But also go to Sandbox and 
you don't necessarily have to like, you know, take the guns you're not good with, get even better with the guns that you do like. Mm-hmm. Um, but definitely learn how to one hand, you know, your favorite guns. Um, don't want to be stuck two hand in everything. Okay. So. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I thank you so much for your time, Weller, um, all of your intelligence around building and all of the shares that you gave to us today. Thank you for being my first builder interview. I hope you guys in chat all enjoyed it as well. Um, I've got another one scheduled for tomorrow. So um, we're going to say goodbye to Weller and uh, have a great evening, Weller. And bye, Miss Weller. Thank you for giving him all the time he needs to make these beautiful pieces of work. So uh, (laughs) we will see you later. Thanks, Trixie. Yep. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right, everyone. As we are slowly loading back up into the lobby. There we go. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first builder interview and I hope you guys will join me for the additional ones coming up. Um, I've got Ask Clown scheduled for tomorrow. I hope you guys will join me then. Um, I know most of you will because you guys are committed and lovely just like you always are. Uh, But for now, let's find you somebody playing Population 1 to send you to and uh, just poke in and say hello. Make sure you guys are uh, dropping a follow. I already know who I'm going to send you to. Uh, Recently, she has uh, just become affiliated on Twitch. So um, congratulate her on her affiliation, if you could. I'm going to send you off here to Miss Hater. Don't leave me yet. Please stop by and say hello to her. And you guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. I'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you all for joining me on Facebook. And uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to go have some pizza. Good night, guys.